My name is Terry Miles. I work at McDonald's. I do not like the word retarded. I'm Kyle and Dara, the cute boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been here for about at least eight years. My name is Michael Lee. I live at Dennis about 29 years. My name is Paul Johnson. My name is Karen Thomas. I've been a foster provider for 27 years. Right now I have four men. Well, it's changed greatly uh, that I've seen. Early on in those years, uh -huh. no one thought about the client. Uh, the word itself was meaningful only in as the diagnosis from a doctor. It had no connotation that it was meant to be mean. Over the years, I think I've seen it change where uh, maybe young people don't understand often and will use it to criticize. They do it because they think it's funny to say you retard. They call each other retard without realizing that someone there may have that diagnosis and uh, it, their feelings are hurt. And it stunts their growth, it really does. I would call that word all of my life. My whole family would Called me retarded. I I got up and walked out of the house. I don't like being called at all. That our word has become a synonym for things that are stupid or dumb or that people simply just don't like. People use it to break people down. And it's just like any other slur. You don't want to go out and say any slur, but specifically for us, the R word is the main one. It's what hurts our athletes. And we've had athletes tell us people call it at the workplace and they don't want to work. They don't want to be around people. They're depressed, they're anxious, they don't feel adequate. Right now I have been training to for better living. Thank you. My goal is to live between 95 pounds. I was doing power lifting. I won four gold medals. Wait. <laughs> Two years ago, I had cancer. Blood. I went for four months of chemotherapy. I was in two hot balloons and one nursing okay home. And all of my Weight lifting buddy gave me a glass of cup cowboy. I if after I got that I cried. After I had my two surgeries, I had a awesome attitude and I did not get mad at anybody anymore. I don't like nobody being called retarded. Spread the words and the words started when a group of youth got together, those with and without intellectual disabilities, and Special Olympics International gave them the ability to create a program that they thought would be beneficial to their fellow youth as well as their communities. And they decided that the R word was a problem, 
They didn't like when people said it. They didn't like when it was written. This program in and of itself is an anti-bullying campaign, and that's what the students started it as, as a way to empower students with intellectual disabilities to create inclusion and unity within schools. And what I would do is take a global messenger, which is an athlete who is trained in public speaking. They would give a speech talking about their experience with the R word and how hurtful it is. Students from the different schools get to kind of ask questions that they wouldn't necessarily be able to ask our athletes. Important questions that are kind of hard to ask. When was the last time you were called the R word? How did it make you feel? What do you say to someone when they call you the R word? Especially if it's in public, you know, you're standing at the grocery store and someone says it to someone in line, even if it's not to you, what do you say back to them? As the youth keep asking those questions, they kind of begin to realize how hurtful the word is. We ask youth to take the pledge to spread the word to end the word. Say that they won't say the word and they'll tell their peers to stop saying it as well. Well, sometimes what I feel when I hear the word makes me kind of regular mad. I get frustrated a lot and angry. I hurt people when people use that word. Angry, sad, upset. And people I mean, retarded feel, make me feel icky inside, and I don't like that word, retarded. I never had like that word, retarded, and Nobody is retarded. How you will feel if I make a new retarded? You won't like it. But uh, how I feel, I never like that word retarded. The one stigma that's really difficult with spread the word is that people in general who don't have an intellectual disability sometimes think it's not their responsibility to fight for spread the word to end the word and in reality what we try to tell everyone is that to have an inclusive society where people with and without intellectual disabilities can work together, go to school together, go to dinner together and, and sort of live in this harmony. Everyone has to step up and make changes. Not only are we preaching that people with intellectual disabilities aren't called this word or don't hear this word on a daily basis, we're also saying don't call each other that word. Just because you don't have an intellectual disability doesn't mean you can call your friend the R word. Sometimes people will tell you the R word's not an issue. Some people will tell you that it's a medical term so they can say it because you know, it's in the medical books or it's in legal documents. And so that law has been pretty influential in giving us the ability to say, well, we can't even say it in our legal books or medical books anymore. I like special needs person. I think uh, that describes them well. It's more human and it helps to uh, identify them as a valued person. And because they are special, we must not forget to value them. What words or phrases we've used has changed a lot in the past couple years. We refer to it as an intellectual disability at Special Olympics. Some people say cognitive disability, developmental delay. Then no, call me retarded. Call me weightlifter, uh, cowboy, uh, a and so good, Daddy. Well, since in a good way, for not saying the out word, I would say like, I'm a nice, cute boy. Uh, I'm a normal person. I'm a normal, like, regular people. You don't need to plan a school assembly. You don't need to get your whole town together and sign a banner. It's something that you can do on a daily basis by yourself. You can tell someone at the grocery store that says the R word that it offends you and that you'd appreciate them not saying it. You can, you know, if your parents were to say it, you can say, mom, dad, 
I really don't appreciate that word. And it's a very simple change. And if we could all just do it together, we could completely eliminate the word and it would just be a much more peaceful world for our athletes. Even that impact of telling one person not to say it is a huge part of our Spread the Word to End the Word campaign. troubles all drifted out to sea because I just want to be Good free. morning America. Hey, God bless America. Peace on earth. Don't use that negative word. It's a bad word. That's nacho cheese and pot and I like myself. People don't Call me names, I want to be called Sexy. <laughs> you really ain't got nothing to lose, nothing to lose, nothing to lose. DocU is supported in part by an award from the National Endowment for the Arts, Artworks, the McKnight Foundation, and SPNN.